This is Closely. And in simple terms, then Closely is a LinkedIn automation tool and a cold email marketing tool. Closely is brilliant because you can reach out to your target group in a niche way where you can get feedback on features and your overall business. But it has some flaws. Let's dive in. I think one of the biggest misunderstandings within marketing is cold email outreach or reaching out on LinkedIn. Because often then we associate that with a phoner who calls out to people basically just from a list of leads, but this can really be a great way to get feedback for your business and specific features. Closely reminds me a lot of Luna, which I've previously reviewed. And Luna has the edge of AI compared to Closely. Other than that, then I think Closely has a lot more functionality to it, which you will see in a moment. But Luna makes these personalized messages when we talk about cold email outreach. And that is something I would really like to see within Closely in the future. But Luna is also a much more expensive tool than Closely, even though Closely has a lot more features. But let's dive in and I want to share use case with you. I want to set up where I want to reach out to all the freelancers possible for my own startup. So in theory, if you were building a product for freelancers right now, where would you go to get feedback on your product or your ideas? This is where Closely is brilliant because they have this entire library of leads from LinkedIn where you can just go in, specify your niche and your positions and even country and figure out what type of group of people do you want to reach out to to get feedback on your features, ideas or your business. The way it works is with credits. So for each lead that you save to your lists, then you use one credit. So you can search as many leads as you want, but you can't see contact information until you save the lead. But as soon as you save the lead, then you have all the contact information possible, which often is email. But of course you can also just use the LinkedIn outreach and then you don't need the email at all. It's just a side bonus. And sometimes I also don't see that the email is actually working. But for this, then they have a brilliant email verification tool. And here they give you three different statuses, green if it's perfect, yellow if it's risky, or red if you just shouldn't try it at all. Now I have this long list of freelancers that I can reach out to and I can now do it in two ways. Either I can build a LinkedIn campaign where I send out messages to these, but in order to do that, then I need to be connected with them. So I can set up a second LinkedIn campaign where I connect to all these different people and then after that, I can set up a message sequence, but I can also send it out as a cold email. And here, I think there is a bit of a flaw because I've built my list and in order to send emails to this list, I have to first export it as a CSV file and then import it into the cold email marketing tool so I can send out. And this is still in beta. It's a very new module they have added. So the functionality is not that elaborate where well, you can add email sequences, you can set conditions up, but with these email sequences, you can also use variables such as name, location, position, if they have that. And then you can set up multiple emails where you choose how many days should there be between each of these emails. But one flaw here, because they don't have this conditional module, then if someone replies after the first email, then they will automatically get the second and the third email, even though we don't want them to. And this is a module I think they should really think about implementing because not only is it just a must have module, but it will also add extra value to this beta module that they're building. But for the secondary LinkedIn campaign, you can choose multiple actions. Not only, as I mentioned, we can send LinkedIn messages, we can connect to them, but we can also like one of their posts or just view their profile. And all of these automations, of course, add up to your activity on LinkedIn. But I think it's very interesting as well that we can add in a link to a post and everyone who has interacted with that post, we can do something with that group of people. We can connect with them, we can reach out, we can view their profiles. That's one thing. We can also do that with groups. So if you find a group which is perfect as your target group, then you can use that 
and you can connect to them and then after that send them LinkedIn messages or emails if that's what you want. So I think all of these options are really great in order to get feedback again on your features, your business or just your ideas in general. Overall, when writing both emails and LinkedIn messages, I could really use AI. To get back to Luna a little bit, they have really done it in a great way where not only they use AI, they also personalize it by using the company name, sometimes their position or whatever else they have of information. And I think if Closely could do the same, they should definitely go in that direction. Maybe just for inspiration, because of course we want to put our own spin on the message, but if we could get some ideas of what to write, and maybe even what tone to use and whether we want to sell the product, we want to get feedback or something third. To get ideas from AI could be really interesting as a feature. But Closely has really impressed me. It took some time to grasp the entire product, but once I did, I was really amazed because they have all of these modules I have already mentioned, but they also have a LinkedIn inbox and they have a Chrome extension where you can on LinkedIn, when you do different searches, then you can save that search as a potential lead list. So all of these extra modules just add up to a better product, a better experience. But of course, there are some things they need to fix in the future. But if you're a marketeer or you're looking for leads, then you should definitely take a look at Closely. They have a huge database of a lot of leads and you can specify what type of leads you want. And I think this is both for email marketeers and it's for salespeople in general because you can really reach out and you can even get started for free to try out closely. And their paid plans compared to Luna and the other alternative are a lot cheaper because you only pay the credits for the leads. You can send as many emails as you want, as many LinkedIn messages, automations, and so much more. So I think overall, it's a great product for a great price, but there are some flaws. Before I just mention them, then I want to just show you briefly what they're working on in the future because they're adding a CRM integration and integrations is something that they don't have within the product at the moment, but an integration to all of the different CRM systems like HubSpot, even Trello can be used as a CRM system, will make it easier for us to manage our leads, even though we're just doing cold email marketing outreach. Some of these different leads are in different stages and to have that visualized in a CRM system that really helps us get an overview of how it's going with the different leads. On top of that, they are also thinking about adding personalized AI messages. And this is what Luna does very well. So I hope that they will take into account that they have so much information on each specific lead that they will use that to personalize the message and then let us tell what is it we want to achieve with this campaign or this message because the message is completely different if we want to receive feedback compared to if we want to sell our product. So those different elements added into an AI personalized message is something that will really bring value not only to us, but also to the receiver of the message. Lastly, then they're also working on conditions and this conditional module is something I have really been missing because I want to be able to say if someone opens or answers this specific email, then I want them to either go to a different flow or I want them to stop in that specific flow because I'm manually taking over. So if they stick to this roadmap, then closely in the future will be such an interesting tool, even though right now it's already very interesting and very useful. So overall, I want to give closely four stars. The flaws, in my opinion, are the flow of data transfer between the different modules then we need integrations to CRM systems and then more helping tools like condition module, AI personalized message and whatever they can come up with in the future. If you want to watch my review of Luna, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.